Before mounting your suspension training plate, make sure that uh, you're at the center of a vertical stud or ceiling um, rafter. Measure seven or eight feet, depending on your personal height. Now place your mounting bracket with the holes aligned with the center of the stud. That's important, be careful, and mark them for drilling your pilot hole. That'll make the leg screws go in much easier. Quarter inch drills recommended for the leg screws that are uh, supplied with your unit. And there you have it. Your pilot holes are drilled, all ready to receive the uh, leg screws. It's a good practice to use a solid lubricant like beeswax or soap um, to ease the entry. It'll make your life a lot easier. Make sure the washer's on the bolt before you insert it. And just uh, hand tighten the bolts in position. Again, make sure the washer's on. Lubricate the uh, leg screw and hand tighten it in position. Now you can use, um, it's perfect for a 9 16th inch socket. If you don't have that, you can use a box end wrench, crescent wrench, even a pair of pliers if you have to. And I'm speeding this up out of mercy for your time. Don't tighten the first bolt all the way. Let some slop exist so that the uh, second bolt can find its natural resting position. Nice and snug. Now's not the time to show your strength and rip the uh, screw out of the wall. Just get it so nice and tight into the wood stud. Now you can tighten the first bolt. And there you have it. The mount's in place, nice and sturdy. All that remains is to attach the uh, mounting for your suspension trainer. Follow the instructions, and it should be a piece of cake. And now, here you have it. Firmly in place, lasts for a long time. Take all your